Bowl Stadium in three months. And the team says vaccination cards will not be required. And as Rob Masson reports, renovations are moving forward, though a bit behind schedule. In just over three months, Saints fans are expected to fill up a partially renovated Superdome for the first time in over a year, eager to see new talent. I mean, I, I like Drew Brees. He did his, his, did his part, but it, it's time for a new regime. The Saints organization tweeted that those crowds under current guidelines will not be required to show vaccination cards, but they are encouraging fans to get the shot, something which the mayor reinforced today. And as we move forward in protecting ourselves through vaccinations, the focus and attention really is on those who are hesitant and who need to be vaccinated. Fans inside the dome will notice a few things different. Another massive renovation project is well underway. Concrete is being poured for 12 new field level suites and eight viewing decks throughout the Superdome. Getting this building ready for the 2021 football season, uh, there are a lot of changes going on inside. Those changes will ultimately include new escalators, two new locker rooms and wider concourses, though around 4,000 regular seats have been moved out. The good news is the $450 million renovation project is moving forward inside the Superdome, though it has been slightly delayed. The next New Orleans Super Bowl was pushed back from 2024 to 2025, and though Dome officials don't expect to be requiring vaccination cards, they do say that the pandemic has changed many operating procedures. And a lot of that is going to continue. What is going to what we had last football season, you know, will become the new normal. As much touchless uh, aspects of of the event as we can have, we could be much closer to herd immunity. What I'd advise everyone to do, though, is to get vaccinated. I'm going to be wearing my mask uh, for a while. Though the Saints won't require it, this fan says he wouldn't mind showing his card. Anywhere I go at in the city or anywhere part in the States, doesn't matter to me because this showing them that I have been taken care of. And that's something he shares with a growing number of New Orleanians. Rob Masson, Fox 8 Local First.